The summary of Personal History, brought to you by Click Through College. Personal History is a Pulitzer Prize winning autobiography by Catherine Graham, one of the 20th century's most influential women. Published in 1997, the book gives an insight into her personal and professional journey. Born into privilege, she became the publisher of the Washington Post during a tumultuous time in American history. Overseeing landmark investigations such as the Watergate scandal. Her memoir narrates her growth from a sheltered, insecure young woman to a confident, decisive leader in a male dominated industry. Chapter 1 Early Life Catherine Graham's autobiography starts with her birth in 1917 to Eugene Meyer, a successful financier, and Agnes Ernst Meyer, an accomplished journalist and philanthropist. Despite growing up in a family of wealth and privilege, Her early life was often emotionally challenging due to her mother's aloofness. She was raised in a Washington, D.C. mansion alongside her four siblings, but despite the affluence, Catherine often felt isolated. Her relationship with her mother was strained, as Agnes was often critical and emotionally distant. This dynamic later played a significant role in Catherine's self perception and personal struggles with self esteem. Chapter 2 Education and Marriage Catherine attended exclusive private schools before studying at the University of Chicago, where she developed a keen interest in journalism. Post graduation, she moved to San Francisco, working for a small local newspaper. In 1940, she married Philip Graham, an ambitious and intelligent lawyer who also had a profound interest in journalism. Their union bore four children but was marred by Philip's struggle with manic depression and infidelity. Creating a complex marital life that profoundly impacted Catherine. Chapter 3 The Washington Post. In 1946, Catherine's father, Eugene Meyer, transferred the ownership of the Washington Post to his son in law, Phil Graham. Under Phil's stewardship, the Post grew in influence and stature, becoming a major player in the American journalism landscape. Catherine was mainly in a supporting role during this time. Learning about the publishing business by osmosis while supporting her husband in his endeavors and raising their four children. Chapter 4 Tragedy and Transition 1963 brought a terrible shock to Catherine Graham's life with the suicide of her husband, Philip Graham. The sudden loss catapulted her into the challenging role of leading the Washington Post, despite her lack of experience in managing a newspaper and the skepticism from her male colleagues in the industry. Catherine grappled with her grief while learning to steer the vast ship that was the Post. Her initial years at the helm were fraught with insecurities and filled with hard learned lessons about the complex business of newspaper publishing. Despite her self doubt and steep learning curve, she demonstrated resilience and adaptability, steadily growing into her leadership role and taking the first steps toward leaving her indelible mark on American journalism. Chapter 5 Leadership at the Washington Post Catherine's time at the helm of the Post was marked by brave decisions and a commitment to journalistic integrity. One significant turning point was her support for publishing the Pentagon Papers in 1971. Despite the high stakes risk, including the possibility of legal action and the wrath of the Nixon administration, she backed her editor Ben Bradley. This decision marked Catherine's arrival as a daring publisher who prioritized the public's right to know above personal and corporate safety. Her unwavering support of her editorial team underscored her commitment to upholding the ideals of free press, setting the stage for even greater journalistic feats to come. Chapter 6 The Watergate Scandal. Perhaps the most pivotal moment in Catherine Graham's career, and indeed in the history of the Washington Post, came with the investigation of the Watergate scandal. Catherine stood firmly behind her journalists, Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward. Even as they delved into a story that implicated the highest echelons of power in the United States. Despite facing considerable pressure and potential reprisals from the Nixon administration, Catherine remained steadfast in her support. Her commitment to truth seeking journalism was integral in bringing the reality of the Watergate scandal to light, leading to President Nixon's eventual resignation and confirming the Post status as a formidable journalistic institution. Chapter 7 Triumphs and Trials While Catherine's leadership propelled the Washington Post to new heights of journalistic excellence, it was not without trials. She grappled with a host of challenges, including labor strikes, fierce competition from other media outlets, and navigating the traditionally male dominated world of business. In addition to her professional struggles, 
she faced personal losses, including the death of her mother and her struggle to balance her work and family life. Despite these hurdles, Catherine demonstrated remarkable tenacity and grit. Under her leadership, the Post became a highly profitable enterprise and expanded into a leading media corporation, reinforcing her status as a powerful figure in American journalism. Chapter 8 Life Beyond the Post In 1979, Catherine passed on the role of publisher to her son, Donald, yet continued to exert significant influence over the Washington Post as chairman of the board. Catherine also began to use her voice more vocally in the broader society. She staunchly advocated for First Amendment rights and press freedom, reinforcing her status as a defender of democratic values. Beyond her professional engagements, Catherine became more entrenched in the social fabric of Washington, D.C. She hosted influential soirees, attended by powerful figures from politics, business, and the arts, thus becoming an integral part of the city's social and political life. Chapter 9, Reflections and Regrets As Catherine reflected on her journey, she candidly shared her regrets and personal challenges. One poignant reflection was on her role as a mother. She expressed remorse for not being as present as she would have liked, due to the demanding nature of her career. Catherine also discussed her lifelong struggle with self-esteem, offering an honest insight into the insecurities that stemmed from societal expectations placed on women of her era. Her introspection, coupled with her humility, painted a deeply relatable picture of her, despite her remarkable accomplishments. Chapter 10, Legacy and Impact In the concluding section of her memoir, Catherine considered her legacy. She reflected on the transformation of the Washington Post from a local newspaper to a national institution and acknowledged her pivotal role in this evolution. Despite the obstacles she faced, she remained staunchly committed to the journalistic principles that guided her career. Catherine took pride in her hard-earned success, and she contemplated the profound and lasting impact of her work on the landscape of American journalism. Her legacy as a trailblazing woman in a male-dominated industry, who navigated both personal and professional trials with grace and resilience, continues to inspire generations. Conclusion Personal History provides an intimate look at Catherine Graham's life, a woman of remarkable strength and resilience who navigated a path defined by privilege, tragedy, and professional challenges. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance, courage, and a commitment to truth. Her journey is marked by self-doubt and self-discovery, personal and professional trials, and an enduring dedication to journalism. This journey culminates in her transformation into one of the most powerful women in America, who played an essential role in shaping the country's history. Throughout the book, Catherine grapples with her insecurities, her roles as a wife, mother, and publisher, and the unique challenges posed by her gender. She candidly shares her self-doubts and vulnerabilities, making her story deeply relatable and inspirational. Despite her privileged background, her struggles and growth show that her success was not preordained but hard-earned. Catherine Graham's personal history is a story of personal transformation and professional courage. It's about a woman who faced unimaginable personal loss and rose to the occasion, leading one of America's foremost journalistic institutions through some of the most critical moments in the nation's history. Her story is an embodiment of personal resilience, professional integrity, and the power of the press in a democratic society. It is a timeless testament to the enduring spirit of truth in journalism. The Summary of Personal History